The Upper St. Anthony Falls area is rich with history. After the lock closed in 2015, the National Park Service began giving tours of the lock and dam. As WCCO's Jennifer Merrily learned, it's also an area that offers beautiful views of the falls near the Stone Arch Bridge in Minneapolis. So we are on the Upper St. Anthony Falls Lock and Dam. It's a site that's owned by the Army Corps of Engineers, but I am a National Park Service Ranger. So we work in partnership with our friends over at the Army Corps, and we staff this site for visitors to check it out throughout the summer. What is the Lock and Dam for people who aren't familiar? Sure, great question. So the Lock and Dam is one of 29 structures on the Upper Mississippi River. So between St. Louis all the way up to Minneapolis, and it was a way for people to navigate the Mississippi River to for the transport of commercial goods, moving all the way from the Gulf of Mexico all the way up beyond Minneapolis. So the Army Corps, approved by Congress, built these structures so that uh, barges and commercial boats could make their way up the river. Uh, they had to dredge the water so that it could create a shipping channel for them to navigate the river. And people can come and take tours or do a self-guided tour. That's absolutely right. So right at our welcome tent at the western end of the Stone Arts Bridge, there is a welcome tent where we have different publications. There is a self-guided walking tour where folks can reference the map on the back, then read about the information of those stops on the inside of the booklet. Otherwise, we have ranger-led walking tours, 11.30 a.m. and 2 p.m. daily. They start in front of the Waterworks building and they will talk about the area that we're in, the Lock and Dam, and other ranger uh, chosen topics and subjects. That's great. And so you can, you, act, you can actually see the lock and the dam when you're in here. It's harder when you're on the path over there by the Sonar Bridge. That's right. That's right. So when you're on the Lock and Dam, you can walk out on it, get an up close, actually probably the closest view to Awamni Yamni or St. Anthony Falls, the only major waterfall on the Mississippi River. So it's a really fantastic view to get up close to this really incredible human engineering project. How large it is, it's 500 feet in length where it can fit two barges plus their tugboat through the chamber. So you don't really see it when you're on the Lock and Dam, but when you're on the Stone Arch Bridge, you start to get a better, that zoomed out lens of how large it is. But when you're here at the ground level, it's like, it's pretty incredible to see it. And when you're looking at the Lock and Dam, I mean, that's a system that works with raising and lowering the water. Exactly. It's kind of like, we liken it to an elevator of sorts. Uh, so if folks were, going to lock through here, they would enter the chamber, the Army Corps or the lockmaster would shut the miter gates, then open up some valves to fill the chamber with water. And that can happen within 10 minutes. Is this still being used? It's not. The only use for this, this specific lock and dam is for flood mitigation upstream of here. So what's, yeah, so what is the use today? Yeah, so if there, during the spring, if there's a lot of snow melt, uh, that's building up behind or upstream of the Lock and Dam, the Army Corps will open up the miter gates and the tainter gate to relieve some of that pressure upstream to prevent that uh, some flooding uh, further, oh, uh, more upstream from this area. This was used for a number of years. Absolutely, so this was created in 1963. It was decommissioned in 2015, so it's somewhat recent of its use not being for its intended purpose anymore. Who who comes to see this? Who comes to check it out? You know, we get a lot of different people from different backgrounds. It ranges from locals to international visitors. And then we get people who are here for conferences, whether they're national conferences or international conferences. And those who are international sometimes are saying, wow, the Mississippi River. I would love to see the Mississippi River as close and personal as I can get it because they liken it to other great rivers in the world, such as the Nile, the Amazon, or even the Congo. So the Mississippi River and its watershed is the fourth largest in the world. The St. Anthony Falls Visitor Center in Lock and Dam is open daily. Tours today are at 11 and again at 3. To learn more, head to wcco.com links.